I just recently got my Baby Lock Aventura 2 and I wanted to just show you how to go through the basics of setting it up to sew. Uh, later on in videos, I'll come back and start showing you some things with embroidery. But for right now, we're going to just set it up to just do basic sewing. So you want to make sure that you've already put in your power supply cord and plugged it in. And also, we're going to attach the foot control. And that goes right here. And we're going to go ahead and turn it on. And as you see, it has a nice, bright, wide uh, LCD panel that's in high definition. And you just want to go ahead and give it a touch. Now, if you were unboxing your machine, uh, the first screen you would see, it would tell you to go ahead and select your default language. And normally, uh, when you turn the machine on, it's already defaulted to set at a straight stitch. The machine comes preloaded already with the basic J foot on there. Let me take that off and show it to you. Staff foot. Okay, we're gonna, and uh, the feet are really easy. Uh, they just snap right on. Back and forth. There are several ways to raise your presser foot. You can raise it uh, the way that probably everyone is familiar with uh, manually, up and down. The electronic way to do it with the button right here. And my favorite way is the knee lift. And it goes right here. Let me slide the machine close to the edge of the table. As you can see, it just snaps right in. And when you're sewing, you just move it back and forth with your knee to raise the presser foot so you can have easier access to inserting your fabric underneath your presser foot. Next, we're going to go ahead and wind the bobbin. Baby lock machines use class 15 bobbins and these are the only type of bobbins that you can run in these machines so you would need to go to your baby lock dealer and purchase um, your bobbins from there or you can get them from any sewing store like a joann's or somewhere like that that carries class 15 bobbins and to wind the bobbin you're going to raise the top cover because that's where the machine is threaded Okay, your bobbin has a tiny little groove that's about right there. I'm not sure if you can see that, but you want to align that with this part, the little metal hook part of the bobbin winder right there. Sometimes when you put the bobbin on, you nail it the first time, but if you don't, you want to just put it on and turn it towards yourself until you hear the click. Next, you're going to get your thread and make sure that the thread is feeding from underneath the spool of thread. The machine also comes with several different size spool caps and you're going to want to select the one that is closest the size of the end of your spool of thread. Okay, next we're going to take our thread and put it on the spool pin. Put the spool cap on. And this machine is really simple to thread because all of your guides are numbered. So you're going to just follow the number sequence. So we're going to go to number one, down to number two, and then back around behind. And you're going to go under this part like that 
and you're going to pull some thread out and you're going to go behind the bobbin and just wrap it around a few times. And this little part right here, that's a thread cutter. So bring it through there, cut the thread off, and you're going to slide it over You heard it click. You always want to hear it click. And also notice Once you lock the bobbin into place to wind it, that your start stop button is no longer red or green. It turns orange. It's green when the presser foot is down. That means it's ready to sew. When you lift the presser foot up, it's always red. And the machine won't run if the light is red. And now we're going to push it back over. And once your foot control has been plugged in, you can't use the start and stop button to wind the bobbin. You just press OK. And you use the foot control. Once the bobbin is full, it will automatically stop. You snap it back over. Take your scissors, clip the thread, remove it by pulling it up, and you have a perfectly wound bobbin. Baby lock machines come with a built-in safety feature. This button right here, once you press this, it kind of puts the machine into safe mode or asleep mode. And you always want to press that button before you change your needles out, before you install or remove your bobbins. So let's go ahead and do that. We want to raise the presser foot and you're going to slide the bobbin cover latch to the right. See how that popped up? Take that off and to insert the bobbin, you want to make sure that the thread is underneath like that and the thread is pointing to the right. We're going to insert it into the case. And bring the thread around. And there's another little razor right there. That's a thread cutter and just cut it off like that. Making sure that the thread is underneath and coming to the right. Insert your bobbin into the case. Bring the thread around. And the thread cutter will cut off the excess thread. And let's put the bobbin cover back on and it snaps to lock right back into place. And now we can engage the machine again. And we're ready to thread the top. Your thread is still like we left it, where we wound the bobbin. So we're gonna pull that out and I'm gonna take it all the way out and show you again. Okay, once again, you're going to want to put your thread onto the spool pin, place on the spool cap with the thread coming underneath. We're going to just follow the numbers. One, down and around, two, over, and we're going to go down to three. Three, down and around, and we're going to go back up to four. And for four, we're going to hold the thread over to the right, and back down, down to five. Now we're going to pass the thread through 
number six, which is the Needle Bar Thread Guide. Just put that behind there. Like that. And we're going to go right underneath here. And then across from seven. Seven's right there. And we're going to just drag it around. And once again, here is another cutter. And cut the thread off. And you're going to pull down on this lever which is number nine we want to make sure that our presser foot is in the down position and all you have to do now to thread the to thread the needle is to just press number nine down <laughs> 